Hey guys, today we're going to learn how to fix a hole in your reefer or drive and trailer's outside wall. This is an easy fix for you if you have some tools and time. I'll save you some money. Like you see, there is a hole on side wall, outside wall of my trailer. And first we're gonna have to clean it with a paper towel or a rag so there is no debris, dust or grease which will affect our sealing process. Then get a hammer, try to tap it lightly, make sure you don't tap it too hard. It'll make a new hole. Make sure you type it lightly so the damaged part gets aligned with the actual wall. Then we're gonna get a six by six inch aluminum panel that we purchased from Great Dane Trailers. In my case, this was big enough, but if your damage is more you can get a bigger panel, it's going to be the same process. And we have 3 by 16 size rivets. And now we have some drill bits that's going to help you make some holes. So when you put the rivets through them holes, it's easier with the, with the rivet gun. I had a manual rivet gun, so that's why I had to use the drill. But if you have an air rivet gun, you can do it without the holes. But I will still recommend making some holes whether it was a smaller bit or a little bit of bigger bit because it will for sure make your process so now we're gonna get a bit make a hole and try to put a nail on the nail side of the rivet so our panel gets hold to one position so it don't move so we can make other holes that align with the actual wall and this is a manual rivet gun that we're going to be using in this process. And we're going to use a little bit bigger bit over here because I learned that bit was too smaller and it was going to take a lot of energy with the manual rivet gun for me to push the rivets through. So I'm going to make the holes that I already made a little bit bigger. And then we're going to put the rivets and try to push it at least the corner one so our panel is in the right position and don't move when we put the sealant or adhesive and when we're make, gonna be making new holes it needs to be at one position so our holes get aligned and then we're gonna make all the holes on the three remaining sides make sure you do not drill it too deep and now we have a sealant grade in trailer printing sealant and it takes about three to five minutes to dry but it says give it about 15 minutes to dry it properly but I would recommend on a hot day 15 minutes but if it's a cold day give it 10-15 more minutes it'll seal your trailer wall like properly and there will no water or air that will go inside and we're gonna use a caulking gun it's a manual caulking gun that we purchased from Home Depot, use a caulking gun and try to put the sealant all the way behind your panel. So when, so when you push the rivets all the way, there is no gaps or cracks left for the water or air to go in when the process is finished or when you're driving your trailer out in the harsh weather. So we're gonna make sure there is sealant all the way back and then we're gonna try to get a rivet gun and push the rivet through first all the four corners make sure you tighten it up all the way when the nail broke so your rivet is secured and then we're gonna repeat the process as many as holes make sure you cover all the holes that you made so there is no chance any kind of leakage or any kind of damage in the future in that same area so before we tighten all the rivets all the way we're going to make sure we cover all the remaining gaps and cracks with the sealant all the way around you can use your gloves and your finger to smoothen it out i didn't have no gloves so that's why it looks kind of rough but you can use some caulking tools or easier way you can use your gloves and fingers and here is the finished product and I've, I've did this pro process about like eight months ago and it's still to this day there is no leakage there is no air going in and out so I would highly recommend it doing it it'll save you 
some money.